when you're riding a bicycle over a ramp, you have to be safe. And wear your helmet. I've learned that you have to be careful when you view the path. You never want to be stuck in, I should have done this, I should have done that. Why didn't I do this? Why didn't I do that? That's not present. That's not right now. I have to live in the present. I have to live in this moment right now because that's the only thing that I have. It doesn't matter if I have a bad day out on the track or, or I don't lift some heavy weight in the weight room. Every day is a day to learn spiritually, physically, mentally. It's not about me and this body. is It's completely temporary. It was spring break, my freshman year in high school. It was, it was a nice day like today and, and we were riding along the bike path and we came to Paseo Cristina and that's the only street that didn't have a stop sign. In the center median there's bushes that were just about as tall as us. And so this BMW went right underneath those bushes. So right as we got into the other lane, boom, I got hit. <laughs> Just had a crazy dream that I got hit by a car with Scott. And I look over and that just became reality. It was really hard to even keep track of days and people coming in and out, it, was, it kind of blurred together. It was crazy because all the people and relationships that I met, a lot of them through sports growing up, they all reached out to me. There was just tons of love that was being poured into me and, and it was in preparation for the decision to go through with an amputation of my right foot. That came down like a storm. I was bawling. I thought my future was gone. I always wanted to be a professional athlete. I thought that was taken from me. Sports was part of my identity then. So there was definitely times of feeling alone because I stood out. I was different than everybody else. One of the things that my dad instilled in me, he still encouraged me to pray. And so at a young age, I still had faith despite all circumstances. I still had that hope. I was presented with the opportunity to run a running clinic for amputees. Initially I declined it. I was like, no, thank you. Then I was pushed again to go and show up, not only for myself, but as a new opportunity, a new door to push through. I decided I'm gonna stop being stagnant and I'm going to push through on with life and chase my dreams. As I learned about my father and how he grew up and to see how he pursued success despite circumstances, that really encouraged me to push past my own limitations and then also others. So my dad never wanted me to focus on the pain and what ifs or the I can't. Come on, Trent, get on and let's see you ride, bud. Let's see you go for it. There goes Trenton. Instead, would fill me with what I can do and what is possible. 
Good job. Good cool, Trent. In my opinion, success is doing my best. Get back out there. Come on, you're playing. Go. Get it, Trent. Get it, Trent. Turn it. Turn it. Yeah. If I still gave 100% despite any circumstance, I succeeded. Best I physically, mentally, spiritually could have. See you later, bud. If I don't reach what the world says is success or what the world says is accomplishment, does not mean that I fail. The person that fails is the person that was too scared to try. You could have everything in the world and still not be satisfied. Good. How are you? I'm good. good nice to see, to see you. Tomorrow's not promised. How you doing, buddy? Yesterday's gone. Mother's Day 2000. I'd rather see the positive, see the possibilities, and recognize the blessings in each and every circumstance. You have six seconds to perform the best throw of your life. Some days you just can't focus, and other days your focus is great, and you're gonna take the good and the bad, and each day you learn something about yourself. 